Cube Code and today we are looking at another cup of code. We'll be doing an Angular upgrade uh, since the recording of this video. The latest uh, release from Angular is version 17 with the new logos, um, new features, enhanced performance and all of those. So today we'll be updating, upgrading to that version. But this uh, video should assist you to always update to the latest stable version and we can um, have our workspace all with fresh um, dependencies and yeah with that being said please do um, remember to like and subscribe and let's get right into it so first things first we're gonna um, uh, uninstall our angular core then install the um, angular uh, core latest and then followed by the angular CLI we're gonna uninstall it then install the latest um, stable um, angular CLI and then after doing angular Upgrade. We're then gonna um, make sure that our node is also updated. Uh, so we're gonna update our uh, Node.js. Uh, but first, we're gonna clear the catch, our npm uh, catch, and then we're gonna do a node uh, install, and then it's gonna update that. And then we're just gonna make sure we have the latest stable version uh, over there. So without wasting any more time, let's just get right into it because we wanna make this one pretty quick. So let's just get a terminal here, terminal, all right, so we have our terminal here, and the first command that we're going to run is that, so let's do uninstall, enter, sudo password, okay, so that is uninstalling, right, cool. So let's just take that. Then we're gonna uh, let's just clear this. Don't want to do it here. Right, so now we installing core latest. All right, then the next command is uh, Angular CLI. So let's do that. Alright, so that is being sorted. And then now we're going to install the CLI. Uh, let's see. Not sure why it's copying the numbers, but it shouldn't. So that's fine. And let's see. Let's see. Okay, should be done in a few. And let's see. Okay, it's going through architect. It's going through CLI. All right, so those look good. And then now we can do Node.js. So we want to first clear the npm catch. Uh, let's do that quickly. Now let's see. <coughs> uh, so the npm catch with force has an error. Yeah, we want to do that. Um, Oh, the NPM part of the catch corruption issues. Mm, that is a problem. Debugging issue install of. We just do with force here <coughs> because that is what we wanted. NPM catch. Yes, that's what we wanted. Oh, we had an issue with um, the spaces after my command. So now it's fine. So that's good. And then let me take this as well. Go back and let's see. Let me remove the spaces. Make sure that everything is clean here. All right. Let's see. Uh, okay. So this I'm also going to run with force. Uh, let's see, okay, let me just remove install, 
uh, just remove that then it should be just that sudo npm install g and then that should be updated now so that's looking good so we don't need to we don't need to have that so this n or uh, this g then n should be fine or this can be node and that should be fine then now we're doing the last one which is the stable getting the stable version or not and just let the space again okay now it is coming through fine let's see Right, so now that is done, let's just do ng version. Let's see this. All right, so now you can see Angular, and we have uh, CLI 17 node 20.9.0, npm package names npm 10.1, then OS starting x64. Then we have all the CLI uh, packages there with the latest stable version, and essentially that's uh, our ng version uh, up, update or upgrade and then you can basically start with ng new creating a new project or updating your existing project and you should be good to go so wanted to keep this short and sweet until the next one cheers